Now for a look at the weekend weather, let's welcome in Gerard Jabaley. Gerard, I stopped a couple of days ago asking if it's raining in California. Oh. Now it's raining in other places. It is, and that's generally how things go. So there is going to be some weekend weather where a lot of us are probably going to see some soaking rainfall. Let's show you what's happening here. So this is the current storm system that's out there. It's mainly across New England and still lingering snow showers off the Great Lakes. That's typical for this time of the year. But this one's exiting. We'll get a little bit of dry time. The next storm system is uh, fairly small. It's out in the Four Corners region. This one's going to track across the center part of the uh, country. I, I'm not expecting much out of this, but we'll show you what's going to be coming our way here in just a minute. A little more significant here is a storm that's going to blow up down towards the Gulf Coast. That's going to be a big rainmaker going into the weekend. But here's how today's shaping up. We're actually going to see mostly dry conditions across far western portions of the, of the country and across the, most of the heartland, the southeast. We do have a little bit of winter weather going on, and so we have lingering winter storm warnings here far to the New England states, and then a couple uh, showing up between Colorado and Kansas. <clears throat> Excuse me. But here's what's going on. The big weather maker in the weekend is going to be down to the south. So Houston, New Orleans, the Gulf Coast, this is going to be a big rainmaker. It's going to scoop up a lot of moisture right out of the Gulf, and then it's going to turn into a classic nor'easter as we get into Monday. So that means rain especially across most of the northeastern Atlantic states. We will see some breeze coming in with this too. And then as it goes further inland, it mixes with that colder air and becomes a snow and at some parts a bit of a snow rain mix. So this is going to be our weather maker, not just for uh, Sunday, but into Monday. This is somewhat what you can expect here. Uh, snow, especially across the Midwest, Great Lakes, all the way up through the northern parts of New York, Vermont, uh, good for the skiers there, and they're likely turning into somewhat of a wintry mix right along the mountains here. But a little bit further to the south, we don't have that cold air, so it's going to be mostly rain, and that's going to be from late Saturday through Sunday into Monday as the system starts to shift northward. We'll dry out, so Sunday will be a better day for you guys down south, and we could very likely see another system just like that one moving later into next week. So we're kind of getting into that pattern where we're getting more storm systems blowing up for the eastern United States. And that was kind of something I was uh, expecting the last few weeks. All right, so now the pattern is the West, back to being dry. And you know what? I think they're ready for a break. They've needed it. But, you know, they had three years of drought, so they're getting that replenishment, but they need some time to dry out and clean up. Uh, but here we are with the next six to ten days, fairly average as far as weather is concerned with uh, rain. But the temperature outlook, we're going to stay average mostly in the eastern half of the United States. I think the western portion of the United States is likely going to be dropping to colder than average temperatures once we get into the six to 10 day period. And that'll probably even linger beyond that. I don't see the Arctic blast hitting us here in Chicago anytime soon. U.S. Santa, so far he's delivered. Uh, I'm just hoping that we can continue that pattern here for us in Chicago because, boy, it can be rough around here, wouldn't you agree? <laughs> uh, it can be rough around here. I'm seeing some snow in there, but let me ask you this. Yeah. We got two NFL playoff games that are in the path of the snow area. You got mm -hmm. one game in Buffalo that's Cincinnati at Buffalo. Yeah. You got another game that's in Philly. You got the Giants playing at the Eagles. Are those games going to be impacted by the weather you just described? I mean, you know how it is with sports. If, you, if you're going to have any weather, that impacts it at all, even if it's just a light drizzle. So there drizzle. will be weather there. There will probably be weather. We're talking Sunday, so uh, there will be some weather there. Well, the, the, the Giants and Eagles are Saturday night, Saturday and night. Uh, the Bills are, are Sunday afternoon. Okay, so, so. You, you, yes, we'll have some of that. But it could be the cool kind where you get some snowfall. I love a good snow football game. I don't know about you. Yeah. No, I, hey, it's I think messy, but. Last year, two years ago, Green Bay and San Francisco – uh, oh, yeah. In, in the snow. That was incredible. That was great. Yeah, I loved it. Uh, all right, Gerard, thank you very much. Uh, looking forward to the, the weather and the weekend. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation in your cable lineup. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-based, unbiased coverage.